Okay, guys, we're back. We're still two weeks out from Mecham. Still haven't painted two wheels on that. Uh, still haven't detailed the cars. We got a lot of work to do, but just when I thought I couldn't get any dumber, I buy this today. And totally redeem myself. Mid 80s Buick go kart. Like an idiot, I decided to drive or decided to buy it couple states over and have it shipped here so got this out of northern illinois saw it i tried to buy one of these about two years ago and i didn't i've been regretting it because we're going to paint it we're going to i'm going to let the kids do learn learn on this thing uh it's in rough shape so we'll take the body off we'll see if we can get it running because it is we need some tires obviously but i don't think it was going to run then we'll sandblast the frame and everything paint it up and then we'll actually get to the body we'll where we'll uh We'll sand the body down, paint it like a Grand National, put the emblems on, and hopefully kids will have fun with it. Or me. 80s vintage go-kart. G-body, Buick Grand National, I'm going to call it. It's just like we, just what we needed, more work to do. So, this might get put on the side burner for a couple weeks until we get, uh, until we get through Mecham, but I thought it was pretty cool, so... Paid 500 bucks and then shipped it here. So I probably overpaid for it with the shipping. But I haven't seen one in a couple years, so. Still trying to decide if, I, if I'm an idiot or a genius, so. Uh, I'll probably come to an easy agreement when this thing's rougher than I'm expecting. It's probably really rough. So I'll probably put another motor and stuff in it, but anyway. I don't know what else to say. We'll start tearing it down. Thanks for checking out the videos, guys.